Hello, Bumpy Big Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my super fun, super amazing, really, really cool. I don't know if any of that's true, but it is my Let's Play of Cities Skylines. And today on Cities Skylines, we are going to name our town. We had a winner. Yay! <laughs> all right, you guys get the idea. All right, so a couple things. First off, before the winner... Somebody chose a name almost exactly what I would have chosen myself. My normal go-to town is Bumpington, D.C. And apparently, I'm going to probably butcher this name, so I apologize, folks. But apparently, Curly Olantunji, and I apologize, I probably butchered it. But if I didn't, yay me, uh, decided to go with Bumping Stun, D.C., which is pretty good, pretty good. I like it, I like it. However, that did not win. Liara, Face Tank Jennings, came up with Bumpy Hills, which was seconded by Kippy Kips, the original casualty. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bumpy Hills is going to be the name. The name of the town! It's like Beverly Hills, only I'm not Beverly, so... There we go. We apparently have... A lot of teenagers. Like, a lot of teenagers. And a lot of adults. Like, 11... 100 adults, 111 young adults, and almost, well, about 800 teens. Eh, it's fine. It's totally fine. We have quite a few workers. It seems most of them are actually employed, which is really good. And we get weekly tourist visits. Apparently seven each day. All right. So there we... Oh, and I canceled everything because I am a failure at life. Bumpy Hills. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And to think, I didn't pay anyone off. They just chose this stuff automatically. It is sweet, sweet, nice. All right, so here we are. We are in the town. Now, I played around a little bit on my own just to see what kind of weird concoctions I can come up with, weird things I could do. And I gotta say, I came up with a lot of weird stuff. I'm, I'm just saying. That was a lot of weird stuff. Right now, it looks like our need for commercial, not commercial, industrial. Industrial is here, it is upon us, and it is a very real and tangible need, so we shall try to get that handled if we can. In addition, we do still need more a residential. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do just yet. Oh, it's a D-Zone tool. Um, we have the landfill, we have the garbage that's being handled, uh, we have healthcare, it's working for now, it's not great, like, we're gonna need more solutions soon, but it's okay. Did we slot it in the cemetery yet? No, I believe we just unlocked that at the last little bit, so, at some point I should probably figure out a place to put that, probably, like, right up in there. Yeah, I think, like, right there would probably be okay. Um, we'll get to that in a minute, we don't have a... A tremendous amount of money we don't have like no money but uh, there's still a lot of fire risk over here and around the outskirts apparently this fire station does not do the best of jobs here at taking care of business I would assume that they would be like perfectly great over here and like all, like this whole area would be really really good with the fire stations but apparently that is not the case this one building here however happens to be really really safe I don't know why and we're going to have to, of course, do some stuff over here. But, that's neither here nor there. Uh, police seem to have the entire city really... Wow, 3% crime rate? That is really good. And our education... Eh, we have 75% uneducated folks. That's not great. That is not great. Well, we could get our elementary school, another one slotted in. Or we could save up for the high school, which... I think we should do eventually, but I think I might throw the cemetery... I don't know. I don't know yet. There's a few things we will do in this particular episode. Uh, I'm going to take out some loans so we can continue to build, and then we'll hopefully play catch-up and pay off the loans. And it'll be sweet, sweet, nice style. Um, yeah, education is kind of a big deal right now. We are falling short on that front. And then at some point, we should start getting our public transit going as well. But, we're not quite to that point yet. We could throw in some more parks and decorations, but I think we did pretty good already. I think they're relatively happy with what's up. So... I did want to throw in that bouncy park, though. I really want to put this somewhere. So let's see if we can't find a place that will really, really make people happy with this thing. 
Right there in the middle of the highway. Yes. No? Okay. Well, we won't do it there. Alright. Apparently, there's no great place for this. Without evicting like a hundred people out of their home. Well, a few people out of their homes. I wouldn't say a hundred. There's three people there. There's a whole bunch of people there. You know what? I don't mind that. I'm going to get rid of that. Boom. Get out of there. There we go. It's for the greater good, folks. It's for the greater good. Actually, it's not for the greater good. It's for the, the greater fail from Bumpy here. Yes, I do wish to proceed. Uh, it hurts me to do stuff like that and do it poorly. But hey, that's the name of the game. Do it poorly and then hope that you can fix it later, right? Right, 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 right. right. Alright, so I like that. Um, we'll get moving in the town soon. But, I wanted to take a look at the unique buildings. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have any available other than the Statue of Liberty. Which, we've already looked at and there's no way I can afford. At all. Even if I had the money somehow, I would not be able to afford it. And then there's the Illuminati. No, I'm kidding. There's no Illuminati thing over there. Alright. So here are the taxes. We can drag it up for the different regions. And right now, I think it's fine at the 9%. I don't think people are overwhelmingly unhappy or overly happy. I might actually drag it up to 10% across the board. That might not be bad. That would be a nice little spike in income. Like a 1% tax increase. I mean, like sales tax from where I was at, it's actually down to 7%. But where I'm at now, back in Florida, it was in 7%. Um, income tax. Or not income tax. Sales tax. I'm sorry. Um, here, it's actually 13%. So I think 10 is kind of a... That's a good middle. Middle ground. I like it. All right, we can budget more stuff, but I don't really want to. And we can take out two loans. I guess we already took out the Silver Sunset Bank loan. I don't remember doing that, but I'm sure I did it at some point. Totally forgot about it, and here we are. Um, I know I, I messed, like I said, I messed around a little bit on my own, just kind of seeing what kind of weird stuff I can come out, come up with and build out this way. And yeah, you know what, I'm actually going to take the second loan as well. That'll give us a little bit more cash. And hopefully we can get some stuff rolling here pretty soon. I want to take a look at our power. Our power is... It's okay for now, but it's not going to be okay forever. I think I'm going to throw one more of these in the mix. And there we go. That should help us out a little bit. In addition, I'm going to throw the public... Did I? Oh, I already did the buses, did I? No, that's education. I'm sorry. I thought I clicked on the bus line. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, it, it sucks. It's been a few days since I played this, folks. So, I do apologize as I as I brush off the ring rust, as they say. Um, I don't think I would hate moving it, like, down around this area here. Like, maybe, like, right there. For the bus line to start. We'll play around with it in a minute. I don't want to throw it in there yet. I would like to get a high school going, though. And I think we could slot the high school in, like, right there. And that would probably be pretty good. And we could probably do another elementary school somewhere. But I'm not sure where I want to put the next elementary school. Probably down in this region somewhere. Right in the middle of the highway. That's, like, my favorite place to throw kids, right? Let's throw them in the highway. Totally fine. Um. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Uh, there was something I wanted to check. There's noise pollution, so what is our, is that what this is? Yeah, there's a noise pollution right there. So, overall, yes, the, indus the industrial section is definitely a noisy, noisy section, but we're okay. The bus station's gonna be a little bit noisy as well. They're just gonna have to deal with it, but this is the commercial area anyway, so it's not really as bad as you might think. In addition, we do have to figure out a solution for our up and coming, yeah, yeah, not the red zoning our up-and-coming residential needs because right now we're kind of tapped out if we continue in our little journey over here making this all residential and this all industrial and this all commercial you get the idea what I think I might do is maybe throw like parks and stuff in the middle here and maybe do like a real small amount of commercial on this side and then tag the industrial right up against it and then have like half of this as residential. In fact, I think that is what I'm going to do. So let me let me do the decorations first. Let me do a basketball court up in here. I don't hate that. We'll throw it maybe like right. Well, hmm, what is that? Oh, it's a dog park. Nice. What else do we have? We are pretty low on money. I don't have the game running. I'm gonna put it on one X right now, guys, and let it let it run just a little bit. A large playground, huh? 
Okay. It's a bit too large of a playground, I think. Alright, what if we went with a park with trees? That's way too big. That's huge. Alright. What about... Okay, so we gotta go somewhere... We gotta find, like, a, a happy medium here. We're just not finding it at all. Now, what if we do that? And then maybe we do... I was hoping we'd have something there. Alright, we're gonna have to pause this again just for a second. Oh, we don't have enough room. That is unfortunate. I'm okay with doing that. So maybe we'll do that, and then we'll slot over here. We'll slot in some commercial. And then we'll do residential all the way across the rest of this. We'll let that go, and then we'll go take a look at our power needs, which it should already be fixed, actually. They are on the grid right now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know why the park and stuff need power, but they apparently do. Alright, so we need to start making some cash because we have spent a large quantity of our cash. So far, it is quite unpleasant for us. We're going to let it run at 1x as it stands right now. We're going to be like, alright, time to get at some buses. So that's going to be our first goal, to let our buses go and do their thing. I think what I'd like to do is maybe start like up here and then kind of run down around this way. Yeah, we'll kind of snake through the city a little bit. Oh, it's really, okay, so it's really being difficult here. There we go, that's what I want to see. We'll have it kind of go over this way. And maybe over yeah, I don't I don't hate that. Over there. And then we'll come back up this way. And we'll finally reconnect it. Oh gosh, that's really bad. Connect it right there. I don't know how that's all gonna loop around and stuff, but that's okay. There's our first little dealie, and it looks like our needs are being met right now, which I like. Definitely want some bus lines to run along the, uh, well, well, let's start from here. I definitely want the bus lines to run along this side of town. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cancel that. need to build out some more roads here. That's going to be first and foremost. We need to get this connected up. And if we don't, if we're unable to do that... It is looking like we're going to be unable to do that. Hmm. Alright, try it this way. We just can't win, can we? Gosh darn it. Give it to me. There it is. There it is. Nice and clean. Alright, there we go. Feel a little bit better about that now. What's our landfill doing over here? Let's take a look. Yeah, I, I don't want a road. Uh, it's 16% full. Garbage trucks and units are 4 out of 15. We're not having garbage issues. Okay, we can go back to playing with the bus line. I like that. Alright, so I'd like to start here. And then maybe have... Have our bus run along the outskirts here. No, 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 not there. Right there. And then run... Maybe like real deep into town this way. Then like come down around this way. Actually no, let's let's not stop there. Let's add the stop here. Add a stop. Um yeah, well <clears throat> we'll add a stop there, that's fine. And then we'll reconnect it right back up over here. There we go. It's okay, so there's a little bit of a, some bus lineage going through there into the industrial side. I like that. Um, what if we started one there, we went this way with it. And then from there, we came down here. And then we came just out to this side. And then back up and we reconnected. Sorry, um... Maybe to there, 
to there and then reconnect with it. Yeah, there we go. All right, that gives us a pretty good line. I mean, everybody but these guys up here, which they're probably going to be a little bit sad about, but pretty much everyone has a pretty decent chance at public transit right now. We're up to 1,300 monies. I like that. We're making a decent, decent chunk of cash. Not a tremendously huge amount, but we're doing okay. I need to figure out what to build over here. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. But I'm sure I'll come up with something that'll be super useful and amazing. Um, I haven't looked at Chirper in a while. Anything in... No. Say anything super important pop up? What's going on over here at the factories? Not enough workers. Two over-educated workers. Well... I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, our city's still growing, but we have residential needs. Pretty, pretty big residential needs, actually. So I'll do that there. I'm not going to add any residents to that. I am going to tag this all up with more commercial. But I don't need more commercial right now, so there's no point in doing that. I'm going to have to build this out a bit more, but I think I'm going to build it in like kind of a more crazy pattern just to have a little bit of fun with it why why keep going with the same craziness also I noticed that there's a really bad traffic jam here and we're gonna have to fix that and the best way I have found to fix that is get rid of that and then what I'm going to do is add these up here as through points and that should work out for us there we go and that should allow the folks coming into town to keep coming into town. Also, we're going to have to address the fact that a lot of trucks, if you notice down here, it's like a lot, a lot of trucks are coming into town. So what we're going to do is take a, a minute here to pause. And we're going to try to do something interesting with the roads here. But I don't think we can do that yet because we don't own this. So I might let stuff sit for now, building up a little bit more cash money. I think when I get to about 15000 Let's take a look at our loan here. Our loan is up to pretty much what we have left. Why don't we pay that now? And then we'll stop losing. We'll be getting, yeah, there we go. We'll be getting a little bit more cash money each week. And hopefully our next, uh, we're pretty far away from our next milestone, unfortunately. It's okay. We'll hit it eventually. Uh, I did slot in some more residential areas. So that should be sweet, sweet, nice. We have tons of room over here for the for the, um, sorry, the commercial needs. Sorry for the cut there, folks. Apparently my recording software decided to shut itself down and do an update, which is really weird. I don't know if I hit some weird button combination on my keyboard that allow it to do so, but it did. So, it happened. I'm over it. We're back. Um, I just, I alt-tab back into the game, paused it, alt-tabbed out. Long story short, it's over, it's done with, and we are looking good once again. We have slotted in some more businesses here for the industrial side of life. There seems to be, I don't know, like our commercial needs are easily being met. I feel like we have a lot more residents than we have commercial, and I feel like we have a lot of industrial, like a very, very large amount of industrial more than we would need, I would think, but apparently that's not the case. So what I'm waiting for now is to build up a little bit of capital once again. And then we will uh, continue on doing what we do. And yeah, I think I'm going to take the roads out and like maybe like uh, bring this one like over this way. And then do like a sweeping thing over here to connect this way. And then do kind of some diagonal roads and just some crazy designs in the middle. Maybe utilize another one of these things. Maybe a larger one. I don't know. There's a few different ideas I have. Is there a larger one? I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, there is. But we don't have the cash for it. So we'll do something like that at some point I need to buy up the next plot of land down here which I'd like to do that will allow me to control the highway and what I think I'll do is I'll add some sort of like on-ramp or I guess off-ramp on into our city to divert all the like large trucks like maybe to this point or maybe over here somewhere and they'll be able to go directly into the industrial zone and then right back out so I'll have like a, an off-ramp and an on-ramp over here and they'll be able to actually get in and out of uh, the city that way. And that should actually make it quite a bit easier. Because right now they all have to come through here. 
then they sit through traffic, and then they have to drive all the way over to the east side of town. Once, once they're on the east side of town, then they have to come all the way back over here to leave. So, I mean, it's super inefficient for them. They're clogging up our roadways. I mean, it's not great. I believe the blue ones, are they buses? Oh, oops, sorry. I want to say they are. Yeah, that's a bus. Okay. So, I want to say that maybe our bus line's doing pretty good? I'm not sure, though. It's elementary school. Is this our bus line? This is our bus line. Uh, our upkeep is minus 720 a week. We have 19 buses in use. Does it tell me how much... Hmm. I was wondering if they told me how many uh, people they've serviced, but apparently not. Maybe it does here. Here we go. 53 citizens per week for one week. That's pretty weak. Heh. 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 I know. It wasn't funny, folks. It wasn't funny. It wasn't meant to be. Oh. Our carousel seems to be doing well over here. I like that. Well, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. All right, let's speed up the time here a little bit. All right, we have a very, very big need for residential once again. So we're going to have to start utilizing some of our cash monies again. So let's see if I can't build out that road I was talking about. Let's go four-lane highway. Yeah, let's do it that way. We're going to go with a kind of a curvy road, I think. Yeah, it's not it's not really the angle I want. I kind of want it to... Yeah, something like that. There we go. Well, see, that's too far. Eh. Nah. You know what? What if I just use the free form? How's that gonna go? Yeah, I like that. We'll go like way out there. And then maybe we'll oh that's that's gonna be kind of an intense uh, curve there to to make. Um not enough money. So we are out of money. We can do that. Ah, that's that's ugly. That's all right though. We'll we'll keep it. We'll have a little bit of bend up there. It's fine. It's fine. I think we might throw another landfill or something up there, and then we'll start throwing in some diagonal roads this way and whatnot, and maybe throwing in some of these things. We just spent a lot with like nine thousand just tossing that up in there. It's kind of a big deal. All right, so the large roundabout. I figured out how this works, by the way, folks. Um, you right click and you drag, and it basically rotates and spins the thing. So. You can get it to shape or face any way you wanted to, and then yeah. So that was that was my bad not being able to place it correctly before. It's totally fine though. We managed to do it. We have our nice little trees here. Commercial's really, really not taking off, and it's it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of troubling a little bit, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna have to get some roads going. We're not gonna have time to sit around and just wait for this to, to happen, so. Um, let's see here. Not enough money. Um, I think I'm going to do that, and then we'll probably do some filler roads. We need 3,000 monies. Come on, guys. Let's get moving on that cash. We're making 2,600 a week. I mean, that's pretty decent money. I mean, it's not, you know, like, oh my gosh, we are the richest people ever type money, but it's not bad. Uh, let's see, is there a way to... No, I didn't think there was. Alright, let's see, can we do something like this? No, that's too much of a curve. That's a little bit too much, too. Let me curve that just so. Yeah, I like that. There we go. That'll work. All right, so we'll have a little bit of a gap there. That's totally fine. I'm okay with Actually, you know, I might run just like a, a road perpendicular to this one and just be like, bam, across all these things. Yeah, that might be that might be good. Yeah, I like it. At least we're right there. All right, so we need some more residential, do we? Like, that is our biggest need right now. So we're going to... Oh, that's not at all. You know what? I think I'm going to use the paint tool right now. Because these weird angles and stuff, it's just, it's really hard to get things exactly slotted in. No! I changed my mind, I don't want you there. I find that when you're trying to slot in residential, it's probably a good idea to pause. Because they can build in one block squares, and I'd rather them not do that. 
There we go. All right. So there we are. The residential is slotted in right there. We actually made a decent amount of money. We're going to go with a 1x again. And we have... I don't know why we have so many commercial needs. It's ridiculous. Our industrial needs and no commercial needs. It's like really, really insane. It's, look at all the like need for workers. Is it because we have no residential areas close enough for them to get there? I mean, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's up with this, but it's... Well, there's clearly something going on. Alright, well, we're going to do another free form dealy here. Come on. Let's see what you're going to... No, I don't like that at all. Let's see, we can't do the curved road here. How about that? That's that's too, that's too little of a curve. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of close. Um... Now, let's see, we, we need to go out further. I'll take it. There we go, and our residential needs are being met, but unfortunately it looks like our water needs are not. So we'll slot in another pipe over here. And bam, just like that, we will meet most of our water needs for now. Not sure how to get more workers going though. That's kind of my my big problem right now. Like I keep throwing in more residential areas, and they keep requiring more industrial. But the problem is, what's going on? Not enough educated workers. Oh, so we need to get some more educated workers. So how's our education going? Apparently not very well. I thought we would be fine. Let's take a look at our high school here. Oh, it's full up. Okay, so we need to handle that pretty quickly. I think it's time to take out another loan. I don't think that's a great idea, but you know what? We'll wait it out. We'll make some money, and then we'll handle it. And the commercial need I just saw pop up for a second, and there we go. We have a couple buildings just popping in randomly in the different areas. I like it. The residential is starting to fill in over there. We have to throw another high school in. I'm not sure where I'd like it. I think I might put it over here. Oh, we have abandoned buildings over here. That's not good. Let's pull those these down. Make room for something new. Any more abandoned buildings? No. All right. Um. Let's see. We're looking fine on that front. We need a new high school, so we're making 3,200 money per turn now or per week. See, that's the curse of the, uh, that's the curse of the turn-based strategy games, guys. Everything is per turn now. There's nothing that's just, like, randomly, like, per minute, per second, per hour, per week. It's all per turn. That's just what you, that's just what you think of now. You relate that in your head, in your mind. You're like, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look. Where's our elementary school? I think, um, let's go to education. Elementary school, we have the one here. And they are not meeting the needs just yet. So we could throw up another elementary school. I would love to put it like right in here, but we have a park in there, so that's kind of... It's a little poopy. Um, mm, yeah, why don't we throw one? No, that's, that's pretty close. Let's not do it that way. Let's put one maybe here? This wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I don't hate that. We'll throw it, like, right there. There we go. That made uh, quite a few folks happy. And we definitely need to get a new high school going as well. But we're about out of time for this episode, folks. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed. We didn't get a lot different done. But we, we handled a lot of the auxiliary stuff going on. So, I, I don't know. I feel pretty good about this. Let's take a look at our power grid. Our power grid's okay. We've got about eh, 26 or so megawatts that we're not using right now. Yeah, overall we're we're looking pretty good. There's a lot of upgraded buildings, and it seems oh we have another abandoned building there. It's unfortunate. A lot of uh, new stuff going. I hope that our education starts to pan out. Where's that at? Up there. 
Looks like overall we have 57% of our populace, which is uneducated, which is not great. We definitely need to get the oops. We definitely need to get the high school going, uh, another high school going. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode, folks. I will see you next time with more Cities Skylines. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.